Farming, leading the way. Everyone, ev I've never heard a stadium so silent. Everyone, Bills fans, Cincinnati fans, came together at that moment. And our hearts go out to all the players, not just the Bills players, but Cincinnati also. It's a tough, tough thing to go through. The support continuing to pour in today after Buffalo Bills safety Damar Hamlin collapsed at Paycor Stadium on the field. Thanks for joining us this noon. I'm Kelly Rippin. And I'm Stephen Albert. And the team says Hamlin suffered a cardiac arrest before the game was suspended for the night. From the stadium to the hospital, teammates and fans have shared their prayers for Hamlin. And we're leading the way with team coverage on the reaction to that shock. We begin with the latest on Hamlin's condition from WLWT News 5's John London, who is live for us at UC Medical Center where Hamlin is being treated. John. Yeah, and Kelly, I can tell you for all of this morning and now into the noon hour, it is very much like last night, a worrisome and agonizing wait for information about whether Hamlin's condition is improving. Those in charge here at UC Medical Center tell us they have no indication so far there'll be an update anytime soon. That, of course, can change in an instant, just as it can remain the case throughout the day and beyond. The last formal update from this hospital was around 2 a.m., indicating the 24-year-old Buffalo Bills safety was sedated and in critical condition. Local and national media remain camped out here as some Bills fans have come by periodically to pause at the front of the hospital, including a West Virginia dad, Jonah Stackpole, who got tickets for his son Grant for Christmas, his first NFL game, showing a concern that is shared throughout this community and nationwide. As much as we wanted to watch a, you know, a good football game last night, which I'm sure it would have been, um, this is bigger than that. So that's, that's the main message. Praying for you, you know, praying for your teammates, family, everybody involved. Just uh, one thing I will say is all sides last night, you know, fans, uh, both teams, both organizations, very classy, very top notch. I, I'm not speaking to you guys, I was speaking to him. I was speaking to the Lord, you know, um, and that's more powerful than speaking to you guys um, and, and for the camera, you know, speaking to the Lord and speaking to him. And um, I had to do that. I couldn't drive home six and a half hours without saying my condolences or my prayers and, and what the case may be. And I had to be here. I, I wouldn't have been able to travel without it. You know, I kept with a second guess, second guess. And I just needed to be here. This is the right thing to do. We're Bill's Mafia family for a reason. And, you know, we stick with our guys. And it certainly was a stunned and an eerie environment last night at Paycor Stadium and an anxious atmosphere here outside the hospital at this noon hour. Media hoping there will be something encouraging to report at some point today about Hamlin's condition, but nothing yet. Reporting live at UC Medical Center, John London, WWT News 5. And we did just receive a statement from the Hamlin family. They put a public statement out expressing gratitude for the love and support. It reads in part, we are deeply moved by the prayers, kind words, and donations from fans around the country. We also want to acknowledge the dedicated first responders and healthcare professionals at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center who have provided exceptional care to DeMar. So that is the latest that we're getting from his family. Uh, really the first time we're hearing from them directly. Yeah, and it's you know something we are all hoping for and we just need that one update that says he's okay. Everybody uh, you know wanted to hear those words as well. And